So let's talk about what PFSense is. So I'm gonna click uh, sign in on this with the default credentials. Uh, in this case, uh, for a PFSense fresh installation, uh, it's always going to have the default login of admin and PFSense as the password, all lowercase. So explaining what PFSense is, is kind of actually a tricky thing. It is essentially a networking platform that runs on top of an operating system called FreeBSD, which is an offshoot of Unix. What that means is that PFSense is heavily focused on the software side of things rather than having dedicated hardware. And if that sounds confusing, uh, the, the way I can explain it that might make more sense is that while PFSense can have its own hardware like this, the NetGate router, which is dedicated to run PFSense, it doesn't have to be run on a router system. It can be run on any computer, really. In fact, this PFSense instance right here, what you're seeing here, is being generated by a virtual machine. And this is a PFSense virtual machine. So you can run PFSense on virtually any computer you want to, and it will still give you the features that a dedicated router like this one would have. And this is in contrast to the more classic style routers like the Cisco 1841, um, which this router is very dedicated in its terms of its hardware and the software that it runs. It's really only designed to run on that machine. So, you know, based on this, we can think that, you know, PFSense seems like it's a pretty good deal. It's a very portable, mostly free routing system that eclipses a lot of the routers that you would get from your internet service provider, for example. Does that mean it's better? Well, it's a little less clear. Um, it, it really depends on the situation, what you're going to be using the router for. Um, PFSense, while you can use it at home, is more geared towards businesses. And you can see that from the services. So for example, one of the services listed in here is called Captive Portal. What a Captive Portal is, and I'm sure you've used one, um, if you've ever used a free Wi-Fi from a business or something and you, you connect to it and it says, you have to click this button you know, to agree to our terms before you're allowed to connect, that's a Captive Portal. So that lets you set up the pretty much the same system, but in the context of PFSense. Another example would be um, VLANs. So if I go to assignments and then VLANs, and here I can set up VLANs along with tagged ports to create VLANs on the network interface that will be routed through this router. And if you don't know what that means, that's okay. That's kind of high up there in terms of like the networking engineering stuff. Um, but the point is, will you be using this for home use? Will you be using a captive portal for home use? Almost certainly not. Uh, but for businesses, you will. So again, that's to say, it's not necessarily clear cut whether or not one is better than the other, they're just different. But the reason for using PFSense in these videos is to show you more of the enterprise and business side of how a network would be structured and set up rather than focusing on home use. We're also taking advantage of the user interface, which as opposed to the classic command line way of doing this is a lot more user friendly.